Hello guys, my name is Alex and today I'm going to talk about the Testo 549i uh, These are smart probes and um, this is not a review This is just something I use to read pressures to avoid putting the gauges and losing uh, refrigerant When I just want to know a quick reading of the pressure I just connect these guys, have them right here so and they also come with these red and blue dots so you can put them to identify them blue is the low pressure or the suction line and this is my temperature clamp and this is my pressure test uh, my pressure gauge so I just put it there a blue dot and blue dot so this set is for my suction line and I have this one I place a red sticker on my uh, liquid line on the smaller pipe uh, liquid line and also I have this T that um, I connect this to my shredded valve I put here my pressure gauge and then I can uh, have my refrigerant line here to charge if I need to charge Okay, so once you have you downloaded the application, you're gonna press on that icon, and this is the first screen you're gonna see. So let's press on this, and you're gonna press for three seconds, and it's gonna go from orange to green. Once it gets green, you can let it go. So now, if you see here. It found it and it's paired with my app. So now let's do my other clamp. We're gonna do the same. Press for two, three seconds. It changes from from reddish to green, and then let go, and then you have the other one right there. And we're gonna do the same with the pressure gauges. Press for three seconds, orange, and then it's gonna change to green. That's green. So that's there. And now this guy here, do the same, goes orange, orange, and then green, and that's, it found it. So now we have, all of them are paired to our app. So now let's go to a, a condensing unit to see what it does. And now, uh, let's use the refrigerant first. You press on this upper right corner, and then, there's gonna be a lot of refrigerants you can pick from. So let's uh, choose again R22. So just press there and then it's gonna change to R22 right there. And you press continue. Okay, and then we go down here to um, this icon here and you can edit your view and let's say you want, uh, we can change your centigrade or uh, right now it's centigrade, so let's change it to Fahrenheit degrees, okay? So everything, all the values changes to Fahrenheit degrees and then you press okay. And now uh, let's say you want to, um, to do target superheat. So you're gonna go to this icon again, right here on the lower left and then uh, configure measurements. And while you're on, on the upper left, left section, you're gonna have here um, dry bulb and wet bulb. So right now we have the temperature right now, the dry bulb is 78. And inside by the evaporator return is 68 degrees wet bulb. And now you press okay right here on the lower right. And then your target superheat is gonna be 22 degrees. Um, if you are low in charge, like this is the case, your superheat is gonna be in the 60s, 50s, 40s, whatever. And you add refrigerant to lower uh, your superheat. So if it's 50, add refrigerant, it's gonna go little by little, 45, 40, 35. So you're gonna add refrigerant until you reach the desired target superheat.
so since this unit is a uh, 14a let's change that for upper right and let's look for r22 uh, i'm sorry for um 14a Press continue. So um, this is the low pressure. You press there, and then the low pressure, which is the thick, is at three sixty eight. We press 368 and that's going to read the low pressure and now the low pressure uh, clamp is this one and that's 615 so we're going to put it in the suction line and we're going to pre look for the 615 so that's that one Okay, and then let's do that with the high pressure. Press the plus sign, and then uh, we have the 368. No, I'm sorry, is the 628. So then you press, choose that one, and then the clamp is the 618 so choose the 618 and then that's our ready we have so after we connect everything remember this is 410a refrigerant the low pressure is reading 126 and the high pressure 356 the evaporator coil temperature 43 the condensing unit 108 So we connected our tank and we're gonna add the refrigerant with the yellow hose. Thank, thanks for watching. If you like this video, if it was useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe.